everyone and welcome to Rage Gage Gamers. It's Dan here from Rage Gage Gamers and today I got this through the post. I wasn't sure what it was at first. It weighed a ton, 5.65 kilos. It's pretty heavy, really. Then I realised what it was. I pre-ordered the uh, For Honor. So, let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, so this is the For Honor collector's case edition and in the box you get this lovely bit of cardboard backing with the game PC DVD so I bet that's going to be a few discs in there that'll be fun installing that lot they probably didn't want to risk Blu-ray and then we get the For Honor soundtrack CD Ooh. I wonder what the music's like no idea. I haven't played the beta yet. I signed up to it, but it didn't accept me. Well, there's an open beta now, but look at that. There's uh, 13 tracks. Interesting. So, yeah, so you get a lovely bit of cardboard backing. And then, as for the actual thing, look at this. This looks pretty cool. Some nice warrior symbols. Would help if I showed you the right way up. Okay, it's pretty funky. Yeah, it's just bloody heavy, so let's turn it up right now. Oh, that feels lovely. It's all like embossed, sort of rubbery feeling. That's beautiful. Look at that. That is nice. See that? I can't explain how nice that feels. And this as well. Slightly embossed over the top. Bottom, we have Ubisoft collectibles. For 14 and up. Oh, look at that. It's all kind of foamy, bit of reflection there. It's just on like a bit of plastic, but nicely done. It's almost like a placemat, but I don't think that's what that was meant for. It's nice, very nice artwork. There are the three heads: knight, samurai, and viking. Got a nice foam plastic protection. It's metal. It feels like metal. One broken horn, one not broken. Feels really nice metal finish. These are quite pointy. Nice detail finish, I love those snakes. Those rivets. Very nice. Sadly not big enough to wear.
but you can see they're a reasonable size. They're not massive, but they're big enough to look cool. The main thing is, wow, this has got some weight to it. This one, I think, weighs a ton. Oh, sweet, lifts up. dense of all the imperfections well oh, if she moves I don't know if it's meant to or if it's come unstuck don't have one that side <laughs> we'll find out that's cool I don't think that comes out. Very nice. That is the night. And then the one I'm most excited about. The samurai helmet, look at that. That is freaking awesome. Love to get a real full size helmet, but they're about 500 quid. Look at the detail on that. Like these brushes as well, they're metal. Something else, that's really cool. Definitely one of the more interesting collector's editions I've seen of late. We'd quite like to see the Resident Evil house, but this feels substantial because it's proper metal heavy. Nice. I don't actually know what sort of metal it's made of. Very nice. So we get three of these things. Wooden. Little pegs. And we've got little rubber ends for grip. That's a little, little, little stand. Oh, look at that. Oh, very nice. Oh, I've got a number. 04366 out of 13,065. Wow. There's been a few of these already shipped out. Sadly, not in the top ten. What can you do? For honour. Very nice. Okay, so we'll put this on the table. So you can see it in all its glory. This is the For Honour Collector's Edition or Collector's Case. They sit nicely, very sturdy on these plinths. This is the rubber, and that goes on the little peggy hole bit there. It 
sitting really well. That's pretty cool. And you can actually leave that up as well. Just a nice touch. You can angle them if you wish. Yeah, looks pretty damn cool. Now, I think you can only get these off the Ubisoft store. That's where I got mine from. Pre-order job. It's about 100 quid, but I got like a 20% off code. Something they were doing at Christmas. It wasn't quite as much. So yeah, I think it's worth it. The heavy duty metal and everything. Very solid. Let's see if we can get a close up of each one. Samurai is my favourite. This one, one side feels, this side's a bit wobbly on mine, this side isn't. As long as no one yanks it, it should be fine. Like this damage is sort of finished there. Pretty damn cool. Here we have overhead. I got mine four days before the game's release date, which was a nice touch because it's due out on the 16th. And I got it today on the 10th. That was nice. Shipped from Germany. My only complaint is the wooden pegs they're really quite hard to get in they didn't seem to fit that nice you really have to push them in i guess that's just so they don't come out again to make sure it's nice and secure once they are in but what can you do that's the only thing i don't know if it's a bad thing i hope the game is as good as this set i think i think it looks really cool Comes in a nice box as well. Right, so let's get a closer look at the game. So this is the gold edition that we get for Fort Honor. It's a DVD. We all die, some live forever. And this includes the season pass and the digital deluxe pack. How many discs do we reckon? I'm going to guess four. I haven't looked at the box, I promise you, so I don't know. One. Two. Three. Jesus. Three out of four. Okay, yeah, so it is, it is four. Wow, that was a lucky guess. And then we have a season pass code, which I won't show you the code, but you get the idea. Nice picture. I want you claiming it before I have. <laughs> Digital Deluxe Pack, PC, DVD, ROM, and we just basically get instructions in 20 languages. And a nice picture. Question is, who's done that? Who's killed the three? Some mega boss, perhaps? Or is it just for illustration? Okay, so that is my Fort Honor Collector's Case Edition unboxing. My first actual unboxing video I've done uh, on this channel for Rage Age Gamers. Hope you like it. If you did, please smash that like button. It really does help us out. And also, remember to subscribe as well if you're not already. Um, and check out all our other videos. Hope you're going to be doing more unboxings in the near future. Until the next one.